What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jason the X back with another review. And today I'm taking a look at the Thor. Well, this is the Marvel Legends Infinity Series Odin figure. Messed that up at first. Hey, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm out of practice. Because I'm because you're not visiting the website, supercoolnerdshow.com. That's where I've been doing, spending a lot of my time. But anyway, yeah, I did pick this guy up at my local Target. Had him on the shelf. And we're going to be doing a couple of these Infinity Saga uh, figures as they come in. I'm expecting more on the way. I've got the Iron Man and Thanos set. I've got the Mark III armor. Uh, of course, you saw the Searcher review, and I believe I'll be getting um, the Iron Monger and Obadiah Stain this week. That's going to leave uh, the Quicksilver, Captain America, and it's a couple sets still. Anyway, I'm rambling on, but this is the, the Odin figure, and I gotta say, this is really good, long overdue, for them to do a uh, Anthony Hopkins as Thor. So, I mean, it's Odin. I'm going to keep saying that all this review because I am stupid. Anyway, going to get this out of the way. On the top, Marvel Studios Thor Odin. Legend Series, Infinity Saga, Odin. You got an Avenger symbol right there on the side. Got a couple of characters from the Infinity Saga. I really hope that we get more of these because I think there's a couple of figures that they just haven't done right. And yes, this is their opportunity to do them over. And I do want a Hulk figure in this outfit uh, from there. Anyway, for, uh, they got the Thor poster on there. The King of Asgard, Protector of the Nine Realms and father of Thor, Odin has learned to appreciate peace over the centuries. So here we have our Odin figure and it looks really good. They did a really good job with this. Uh, he has a very nice removable helmet. And looking on that face, I mean, they nailed it. I get a spear out of the way. They've got the scar going down his eye, the gold eye patch there. The beard looks good. You get the white hair going down. Kind of goes right into the cape. This looks good. Also the cape, good material. Nice, like kind of a softish material. You do have some detail under the cape. It does have a peg in there. You can't actually, uh, for the sake of this review, we're gonna go ahead and pop his head off because we can't. Oh wait, no, oh, I can't remove that because it's all one piece there. Huh, so it's got the peg in the back, but yeah, we'll look at some of the detail on the back and the armor, kind of got that marbling going in the uh, body armor. But yeah, it is connected to the chest. You can't remove that, huh? Oh, well, I'm gonna put that peg back in there. Not that I think it'll really hurt anything because it is connected by these two soft pieces here. Okay, well, anyway, we'll keep going on. I'm gonna leave his head off. I know it's awkward. Got some gold, the armbands there. I love the shoulder armor, it looks really good. Uh, he doesn't have the traditional waist articulation with the, um, like a ball joint or hinge joint up here. He's actually got a ball joint hidden down in here, which can be a little off-putting. I think I kind of prefer the old design, but hey, you know, it is what it is. And this is a separate piece. It always seems like it's a little too high, but that could be just me. Got the chocolate brown pants. Good strapping on the boots. You got like a like a silver going through here. Different color here. You got like texture here and then not here. It's all smooth. Kind of a kind of a weird breakup, but you know, looks good. Like I said, I do love this material. It's very rubbery, very pliable. And I dig it. Now into accessories, he does come, he does come with two extra set of hands. On his hands, we do have uh, two uh, trigger grip uh, hands, well, trigger finger grip hands. He does have a uh, fist and an open hand, I guess more for cradling like the, the spear. And he does come with an alternate head sculpt. He's got more of a smiling face here. I guess his mouth kind of looks open. It, it kind of looks like a smile, but let's get that right on there. A little hard to get that on there because of the hair, but yeah. And the bad thing about this head is you cannot get the helmet on there. It's, his hair is just a little too flowing for that. If you look at them side by side, they definitely gave him helmet hair on this one to uh, flatten it down. And he does have his spear, gun gear. Is it gun gear? Gun gear? I believe that's the name of it. Anyway, it looks good. Got some designs along there. Nice gold color. Got some designs on the uh, staff part. And this looks really good. He can hold it in his hands. I think they nailed it on the size, just a little bit bigger than the character. 
Also, just checking out some of the detail on the helmet. I mean, look at the nice wings on here. You've got some of that kind of marbling that they go through there with the big horns on there. You got these gaps in the back of the helmet right here. These are, this looks really good. I, I, I really wanted to focus in on that. And I like that it's just a separate piece that when you put them on, it looks really good on them. It looks very natural. It doesn't look awkward at all. So yeah, good job on the helmet. Now get into the articulation of this guy. He does have a uh, disc hinge with a peg going into the foot so you can get some tiltage there. Rotating on that peg. Can't go back very far because of the design on the boot. Shut up, phone. Quit listening to me when I'm doing reviews. And goes forward about that far, but it is very restricted due to the boot. You're, you can't even really get to the first detent on the ankle hinges so it kind of it kind of null and voids them like this one i can maybe get a little bit further back see i'm moving the plastic so let's see if i can get it with this side it doesn't really want to go that much i know there's a detent in there but i can get it more with this with this foot less with this one so it's just a matter of maybe heating that up a little bit and getting the plastic to move but uh it is there there's also the uh hinge that the uh part that the disc hinge is in is actually rotatable on a peg that goes up into the calf and that's your only point of rotation on there you got double jointed knees goes back about that far not much in the way of, I mean, you can't get all the way up to the butt. You can't get to the butt. You got a mushroom peg or something going in there that gives a 360 degree spin there. You can van daminate about yay far. Legs go forward about yay far, goes back about that far until it starts hitting into the butt plate. The uh, waist is on a ball joint. So you can go, you know, side, side, front, of the about that. And then front, that's about all you're gonna get out of there. The arms uh, are hindered by this cape, especially this side. You can get 360 degree spin on there due to the disc hinge that is in there. And the peg goes into the chest. You're going to get more articulation out of this arm than you are this, just because of how the cape uh, drapes over. But he can go up about that far. In theory, there's a 360 degree spin there, but you're not going to get to it. There's a 360 degree spin at the bicep. Double jointed elbows gets you about that far. And these hands that are on him with the trigger hands, they are hinged vertically. The other hands are going to be hinged horizontally. So I think these, these uh, hinges work better for the spear, of course, because you can, you know, yeah, you the stab, you know, the stab motion with the hand. And you saw the head is on a ball joint. Well, it's on a double barbell joint at the neck, and there is one at the bottom too, so you can get a little bit more articulation out of there. But his hair is going to be a real hindrance. Like the ball joint itself, getting a lot going back and forth and everything. However, once that head is on there, that hair is going to prevent him from going to the side too much. While the hair is very pliable, it's just, it will hinder. So you have to kind of move it out of the way first. Then you can hit those, hit those poses. Fold it up a little bit and then you can go back. So you're getting a lot of neck articulation, just a little bit hindered by the hair. It's actually, you know, it's actually decent. I have a bit of a comparison. I want to compare it to a couple of Thors here. We have our first Marvel Legends movie Thor. Well, this uh, the other one had like a helmet. This one came a little bit later. And then we have the, uh, um, whatever the second uh, Thor movie was called, that Thor suit. And um, I mean, they look good together. I think it's the perfect height for it. Thor was a bit taller than Odin. So, you know, they look good. And of course, comparing them to our two standard bearers for the channel, the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes and the worthy Captain America. Final thoughts, Infinity Saga is kind of knocking it out of the park, especially with the characters that we have been waiting for for a while or that just got passed over in the line. This is a good opportunity for them to get those characters out, especially with some of the ones coming like Quicksilver, a decent Wakanda Captain America, and uh, the, the, war, the, the Iron Monger. The list goes on. They look good, and I can't wait to get all of them. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please visit supercoolnerdshow.com. Like this video. Subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JasonTheX. But until next time, Super Cool Nerd Nation, I'll catch you later.